Welcome to your UA Light Celestial Insight. Hello Capricorns. So your loving ancestor advice for 2023 is actually related to this sort of indigenous African teaching of Sankofa, right? Which is about looking back to go forward and sort of understanding the sort of cyclical and sort of spiralistic wisdoms of life, how it is connected to your ancestry, and really going back to heal really deep core wounds in particular this year in order to move forward and truly, truly ground yourself in this sort of new identity that you've sort of been growing into, expanding into, um, and yeah, rebuilding a sort of foundational sense of self based on your identity, based on your relationship with your body, your body image, your gender and sexuality, creative expression, and your sense of personal power, right? And these themes are all through these cards, similar to your other sort of 2023 overview that I did that included more astrology details related to the Jupiter and Aries transit. So in terms of how it is showing up in this reading, we have the new vision card, right? And we have the soul retrieval card where um, the cards that came out related to who you're loving and guiding ancestors are showing up in this reading to give loving advice. We got this six of knives, four of coins, and the three of sticks. And It really sort of speaks to um, immigrant ancestors, immigrant grandparents, and um, just really core sort of like indigenous um, loving ancestors coming through that are actually sort of beckoning you to make travel plans to your past home spaces, past homelands that you know that your family and your bloodline is connected to, Um, and to do all of these things related to this deep process of heart healing and soul retrieval and putting yourself back together, right? Regrounding and reformulating a sense of self and independence. And if you look at these cards, I'm looking at the top left cards, right? You have the six of knives, which is you, right? Essentially being guided to the four of coins. This is um, in a male ancestor, right? Like a grandfather. And the four of coins, similar to the fourth house, which is what Jupiter and Aries will be transiting through, is related to like your early sort of family life, homelands, foundational experiences, and um, early childhood um, memories, experiences, and influences, right? It's all about this deep, deep, deep dive related to your ancestry, right? And so the Six of Knives is essentially sort of being spiritually guided to travel back to this Four of Coins and this three of sticks, right? If you look, the six of knives card really sort of parallels the three of sticks. And it's like, there's this divine feminine matriarchal, um, yeah, figure that is essentially sort of waiting for you on the other side um, of this body of water. And I'm definitely getting the sense that for some of you, yes, this is definitely about many of you, um, maybe even traveling to Africa, maybe traveling to um, islands, and these experiences being about you reconnecting with some aspect of your femininity in this process of heart healing, right? Absolutely, the divine feminine and healing femininity is all 
connected to the heart space and a process of healing the heart. And so that's definitely what we see here. And we even have this goddess card that came out um, that says healing feminine energy. We also have safe and happy travel, which talks about your loving and guiding ancestors providing protection from harm when journeying, right? And then in the middle, in terms of this question of what your loving and guiding ancestors, what sort of karmic cycles and problems they are helping you to resolve this year of 2023, we have the new vision card, right? And then we have the lovers in reverse. So it's absolutely about you healing your heart, healing from a heartbreak, you sort of integrating a healed masculinity and femininity, healing your duality, reintegrating your healed duality, right? So that you can feel whole again and really secure and confident in who you are. And there's something here about one thing that I picked up in the past reading is that, you know, some of your relationship troubles that you may already be experiencing and will maybe experience at some point in 2023, it's like, it's about relationships kind of failing based on long distance, that being like actual physical long distance, but also in terms of like growing apart from just growth and evolution in your sort of journeys and your identity and even related to um, success and differences in career, right? But also some sort of truths may be being revealed or there being some sort of betrayals, right? That hit a deep core wound, right? That was unhealed or that totally sort of come at you in an unexpected way, right? Based on you sort of believing that your bonds were stronger than they actually were in some way. Some of you, right, have been in long distance relationships and made, you know, a move to be in closer proximity or to move in together with a partner. And for others, it's reverse. In a relationship, me, that where you were maybe closer actually transformed into a long distance one due to travel, a part of your lifestyle. And it's like some of these kinds of dynamics may also be sort of the things that prove difficult and that lead to relationships ending, right? And what I want to say here, Capricorn, is that in general, the sort of loving advice coming through here is for you to certainly sort of zoom out and understand the higher meaning in these experiences and that any sort of relationships that fail right now, there is a sort of higher meaning in terms of them, the failure of these relationships being necessary for your continued growth and evolution in these ways where you've sort of already been in this process of deep evolution and change where your ideas about yourself are changing, your ideas about who you are at a sort of core level, what your sexual preferences are, how you understand your gender identity, um, what your sort of ethical values are, what what sort of lifestyle it is that you desire and how you desire to actually just be in the world. All of those things are changing for you. And so quite honestly, you need the alone time, the solitude, the time and space to really contemplate, to do this deep internal seeking and to reconfigure all of these things inside of yourself that will essentially be the basis of your newfound independence, right? And way of sort of showing up in the world. And so I want to go ahead and read the soul retrieval card for you here. 
because that is really at the core of everything. Um, Similar to your sort of Jupiter and Aries overview reading, one of the things that I sort of saw through the astrology um, and also in a totally different configuration of cards was how this year would be about you traveling to homelands, to sacred spaces, and that being really central to your sort of healing journey. So the soul retrieval card coming out here just really sums it up in such a really beautiful way. So this reads, soul retrieval is a practice that helps you recover a part of yourself, your energy, your enthusiasm, or your innocence that you have lost. At first, we'll use soul retrieval to recover from our hurts and heal our childhood wounds. Later, we learn to journey to recover our original nature, that self that never left the Garden of Eden, who still speaks to the rivers, to the trees, and to God. When we return to Eden, we are whole again. And so the invitation with this card is, you are no longer fragmented. You are one with creation. You have healed the cause of the pain you feel, so you do not need to dwell on it any longer. Really, it's true. If you are still hovering over an old wound, find a new flight path. Don't be distracted with the little stuff you've already mastered. Go for the big one, the journey back to Eden. Yes, absolutely. That definitely aligns with what I was absolutely reading and picking up on with these other cards, right? That are quite literally depicting that journey back to homelands and it being spirit, your your ancestors, your guides really beckoning you to do that deep, deep journey of putting yourself back together and maybe a heartbreak and a failed relationship just being the initial catalyst that is meant to spur you to do this, right? And When this card is, this card was pulled in relationship, you know, to the question, right? Like what are your, what karmic cycles and problems um, are your loving guides helping you to resolve in 2023? And what is it that they are helping you to achieve? And these are the cards that came out. New vision, the lovers in reverse, and soul retrieval right? So no unhealthy mirroring, no unhealthy attachments and finding yourself through being in relationships. It's like, no, this is about you doing the deep work to put yourself back together from the root to the tutor, going all the way back, fixing core wounds, right? Um, Because the truth is, it's like when a relationship fails, it's like people are allowed to leave you. People are allowed to leave you and you're allowed to leave people, right? Um, Of course, there can be other sort of ethical things um, that can be involved. But at the end of the day, generally, um, we sort of journey in life, learning lessons in one of two ways, right? It's like either you're going to learn lessons through the mirroring in relationships, or you're going to be brave enough and um, spiritually disciplined enough to learn all the lessons that you're meant to do through actual spiritual contemplation and isolation and facing your mirror and facing the mirror of who you are, your shadows, your dark, your light, and doing all the integration work on your own right? And you can choose, right? You can choose. Most of us who are these highly spiritually (laughs) advanced people here in the world, we tend to choose the isolation path, right? We've developed that core muscle. We've, We've come here to do that and to actually serve as these sort of messengers and guides, helping people along the way as they do it, um, on the contemplative solitary path or through relationships, right? And so this is a period in particular where you're being called to do this deep work without relationships, relying on 
finding yourself through another or seeing your flaws through another or needing to have someone else mirror to you certain spiritual lessons and, and, and scenarios and things where you're meant to come to your own understanding of ethics and your desires and whatever else, right? And um, similar to this new vision card and the lover's card, right? There are some messages related to that. I also have to, the, the sort of, the sort of message around uh, gender and sexuality transforming that's also here in this card of new vision and with the duality of the lovers being in reverse. It's like for some of you, you are even um, understanding your identity in new ways. And that is a part of you healing your feminine energy, right? Um, for some of you, you may be in same sex relationships. You may be growing into a trans identity. You may be choosing to do like some sort of cosmetic surgeries and, um, body alterations, right? Just all of these different things, right? That are about you coming into divine union and oneness with who you believe you truly are, right? And so I want to read the lovers in reverse for you what the sort of message around this is about and it says what we call love is really a whole spectrum of relating reaching from the earth to the sky at the most earthy level love is sexual attraction many of us remain stuck there because our conditioning has burdened our sexuality with all kinds of expectations and repressions and actually, the biggest problem with sexual love is that it never lasts. Only if we accept this fact can we then really celebrate it for what it is, welcome its happening, and say goodbye with gratitude when it's not. And then as we mature, we can begin to experience the love that exists beyond sexuality and that honors the unique individuality of the other we begin to understand that our partner often functions as a mirror, reflecting unseen aspects of our deeper self and supporting us to become whole. This love is based in freedom, not expectation or need. Its wings take us higher and higher towards the universal love that experiences all as one. And so it also says the lowest love is sex it is physical and the highest refinement of love is compassion sex is below love compassion is above love and love is exactly in the middle and very few people know what love is 99 percent of people unfortunately think sexuality is love it is not sexuality is very animal it certainly has the potential of growing into love, but it is not actual love, only a potential. If you become aware and alert, meditative, then sex can be transformed into love. And if your meditativeness becomes total, absolute, love can be transformed into compassion. Sex is the seed, love is the flower, and compassion is the fragrance. Mm. Yes, 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 yes. So all of this is about you being called to grow into a new vision related to all of these things, right? Related to all of these things. Absolutely. And we have the... Uh, we have the Eight of Pentacles here and the Four of Swords and the Tower in Reverse, where the Tower in Reverse in this deck is all about the sort of, <laughs> it looks like the head being on fire, right? So it's like uprooting foundations, like your mind being blown, you know, because everything is changing. Everything that you thought you knew about yourself, about the world, about people, about everything, right? is being uprooted, is being overturned, and you're being asked to go inward 
and to do that deep inner work. All right. And I think there's something about, you know, yeah, just having, just having divine acceptance of everything, having divine acceptance of everything. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. So Capricorn, that is your message. And I wish you safe travels in 2023 and that you have safe journeying across the world and safe journeying inward as you continue to heal your heart and center in oneness. Okay, definitely subscribe and thank you so much for watching. Take care.